Welcome back to the Wu Yu channel. My name is Dr. Stephanie Wu from Wu University. Today we're going to be talking about what orthokeratology is, how it works, and possible candidates within your own office. Number one, what orthokeratology is. So you may have learned in optometry school the basics of orthokeratology, but the premise is you wear a special type of contact lens at nighttime and it reshapes the front of the eye. In the morning, you take the lens off and you enjoy clear vision without glasses or contacts all day. So let's talk about how it works. So with orthokeratology, you have to take some special measurements of the front surface of the eye called the cornea. And what's happening is when you put the contact lens on, it's flattening the surface in the very, very center of the cornea, and it's using special forces to move liquid or fluid into different layers of the epithelium in the peripheral cornea. So the center of the cornea is losing fluid, and the forces are pushing it to the peripheral cornea. And that is kind of the basic premise of how orthokeratology works. Now, something else that I always find is a question that comes up, how safe is orthokeratology? And there's tons of peer-reviewed literature showing the safety of orthokeratology. In fact, there was a study that was done a few years ago where they actually used orthokeratology lenses on cats and then they examined them for infiltrative events like microbial keratitis and corneal ulcers, things of that nature, and found that they were no at more at risk than a soft contact lens wearer. Lots of different studies on orthokeratology showing the safety. Now that we kind of know how orthokeratology works, let's talk about some different candidates in your practice. The first thing that you should consider are kids with myopia. The reason for this is because not only is it going to provide kids with clear vision throughout the day without wearing glasses or contacts, but it's also going to help slow down their myopia progression. So they're not going to end up in these very, very high amounts of myopia, especially if we integrate orthokeratology as as an option early. Other uses that you may not have thought of is adults with very active lifestyles. So we have patients that are very active. They're hiking, they're swimming, they're outdoors a lot, and they don't want to have to bother with normal glasses or contacts. So they will use orthokeratology so that they don't have to worry about those during times of the day. Other options for adults are people that have very dry eyes when they wear contact lenses. We all have patients that wear soft contacts and we've tried all different brands and all different solution options, but for some reason, they just still can't wear soft lenses. This is something that I would consider as far as an orthokeratology candidate because they're wearing the lens at nighttime. So then in the morning, they take the lens out and they don't have to wear any sort of contact lenses or glasses during the day. So those are two different candidates that you may not have considered, but we have in our practice and they're doing fantastic. So I hope you found this video helpful. We have tons of videos on orthokeratology, such as the risks, benefits, good candidates, how to incorporate orthokeratology into your own practice and much more. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel below and don't forget, you can always earn free CE credits at WooYu. Make sure that you check us out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.